Hey what's up guys I'm Lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so in this video I'm going to talk about AirPods Pro and AirPods 2 new firmware update so yes so as you can see in the background that's my AirPod and if I go to the settings and first let me show you if I go to the Bluetooth section let me show you that my AirPods Pro is connected as you can see let me just focus my camera over here as you can see so if I tap on this as you can see there's a new firmware update and if you just scroll down there you get to see all the details here exactly it says the model name model number serial number and the version and if you look at the version it says 3e751 so in this video I'm gonna talk about how you can update your AirPods Pro firmware if you're using an AirPods Pro and also the same firmware is available for AirPods 2 if you're having that so in general how you can update this because there is no specific method for actually updating your AirPods Pro so in general there's a procedure how you can update that so let's just start the video but before that if you're new here on my channel and happen to enjoy this kind of videos then I would request you to subscribe to the channel and also give this video a like and with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so First things first, as you can see, this is my AirPods Pro. So first, what you have to do, first let me close the AirPods Pro lid. So again, this is your AirPods Pro. Let me just put down my iPhone for a moment. So you have your AirPods Pro and as you can see in the background, you can see my charging cable. So what you have to do, so first you have to open the lids of your AirPods Pro. So once you open the lid, you might get a pop-up over here. Sometimes it comes, sometimes it don't. So as you can see, there's a pop-up, it's saying that my AirPods Pro is already connected. So now what you have to do, you have to, uh, you know, go to the settings and let me show you. Let me go to the settings and Bluetooth section. As you can see, my AirPods Pro is connected. You have to make sure that your AirPods Pro is connected. Now, in general, if you go to this about section, there you normally get to see all the firmware version of your iPhone and if you're having an AirPods Pro or AirPods 2 connected you get to see that as well. So as you can see here it's mentioned the AirPods Pro if I tap on that it says the manufacturer model number serial number and the firmware version. Now if we take a close look at the firmware version it says 3E751. Now this is a new firmware version. So what you have to do if you are not able to see this firmware version it automatically gets updated. So once you connect your AirPods Pro to the earphone so what you have to do here is my charging cable as you can see. Uh, just you have to plug in your charging cable and make sure your AirPods Pro is connected to the charging cable. As you can see there is a glowing light so that indicates it's charging and just leave this on. You have to leave your AirPods Pro connected and you have to like this leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and after 15 to 20 minutes you can continue doing normal work on your iPhone maybe probably listen to music browsing stuff playing games doesn't matter but make sure that your AirPods Pro is connected and also the lid is open so that's the thing you have to do after 15 to 20 minutes if you come down to this about section and go to this AirPods Pro section you should be able to see this new firmware that is 3E751 so that's uh, how you update your AirPods Pro now many of you might say that I have followed all the procedure but after that even I'm not able to see the new modem firmware version on my AirPods Pro so then what you have to do just disconnect the AirPods Pro and then just continue using you know put this on your ear make sure that the AirPods Pro is connected so once you put this on you get a pop-up over here saying that your AirPods Pro is connected listen to music and then just normally continue browsing your phone maybe whatever you were doing before you can continue doing that and then after some time just come down to this Bluetooth section or the both section and you should see your firmware is updated so that's how you can actually update the firmware version of your AirPods Pro. Now talking about the new firmware version, Apple has not made any release note what's new with this update, you know. So uh, what I have been, you know, experiencing with that because uh, it's been two days I have been using this AirPods Pro with the new software version that is 3E751. So this automatic switching problem because I have a MacBook Pro as well. So I used to take my meetings and on my MacBook Pro and whenever a call comes, the automatic switching sometimes it does not happen so after this update I see that the automatic switching works and sometimes also people 
many of you have commented that once you open the lid many of the time once you open the lid and put the earphones on then you might not see the pop up sometimes the airpods pro does not get connected to your iphone properly so that issues has been fixed so overall it's a new firmware version i hope you like this video and this is the way how you can update your airpods pro the same firmware version is available for your airpods 2 if you're having that so then again i hope you like this video this is the way you can update your airpods pro to the latest firmware version that is 3e751 then again i hope you enjoyed the video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because that gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos and with that being said i will see you on my next video bye